I mean, it doesn't look new anymore because I've been driving it pretty hard, but this is the brand new brushless 125 millimeter wet diamond cutter from Makita. From tile to stone to concrete, when you're cutting it, it releases that fine dust into the air, which contains silica, which is nasty. This saw is a fully mobile wet cutter via the water bottle. It also comes with a hose and fittings so you can connect it to a tap and stream water continuously. Now it includes an alternative housing if you're doing dry work, it goes straight on with just the one screw, then you can connect your M or your H class vac, or you can use the included bag. And if you're using a Makita AWS vac, this unit does come with AWS standard, so you can sync them both together to control the vac. The saw comes with a 125mm or 5 inch blade, and changing it is super easy as well with the shaft lock and the onboard tool. For beginners, it's a reverse thread, ask me how I know. It'll bevel of 45, has a max cutting capacity of 40 millimeters at 90 degrees, 28 millimeters when you're cutting it at 45. I'm freehanding a miter here in 20 mil travertine, no stress. I also hit some 30 mil travertine with this saw and I managed to do eight 600 millimeter cuts off a single six amp hour battery, which doesn't sound like a lot, but if you're running two six amp hour batteries and a rapid charger, the time it takes to make those cuts, you're not gonna have any downtime. This unit features Makita's ADT, which draws more power from the batteries under heavy load to increase the torque, which means it can do some pretty serious cutting. When the ADT is engaged, the light on the front blinks, so if you ease off and the light doesn't blink, you'll get slightly better runtime out of your batteries. You'll go through that 500mm tank pretty quickly. I went through it about every metre, a metre and a half of cutting, depending on where I set the flow reader there. You can taper it off, just make sure you're suppressing the dust so it's not getting airborne. I didn't have too much trouble cutting straight. In fact, I'm pretty proud of that miter that I freehanded. Just give yourself a line to work towards. And it's not available yet, but soon you'll be able to special order separately an attachment for this saw so you can attach it to the guide rail from your track saw for nice straight cuts on site. Make sure you check it out at sydneytools.com.au. Hit me up with your questions in that comment section down below. And until next time, I'm Tim. Thanks for watching Sydney Tools TV.